Okay, so welcome back to another episode of Raccoon City Survivor. Uh, I've said I was going to do one of these for a while, so today we're going to be jumping into a bit of a tier list video. First up, I'll be doing a Resident Evil games tier list. We'll probably just be doing the main series, maybe Chuck Revelation. Do you know? Do you know what? We'll do one more, uh, and then after that, we'll be doing Resident Evil characters tier list. So let's jump straight into that. Okay, so straight off the bat, Resident Evil 2, probably the best game in my personal opinion. Uh, 98, obviously. Uh, I just think it, it's, it's utterly brilliant, there's not a single thing wrong with it at all. Uh, yeah, I think it's perfect. Uh, so after that, I think we're going to put Remake in there. It's got a few little problems with it, but nothing nothing too major. A little bit missing, but it's, really, it's another really, really good game. My favourite of the remakes, anyway. Uh, we'll shove Revelation C, we'll shove that in C because it's, it's, it's alright, it's not great and it's not awful. We'll shove 7 into the B category, that's definitely not, not quite Resident Evil but it's still a really fun game. Um, yeah, I quite like uh, 7, I think it's really, really decent actually. Um, so, next up, we'll shove Village, I think that's another fantastic game. I wasn't expecting it to be nearly as good as it is. Um, but yeah, so that can definitely go into the S category. Sorry. Um, right, so Resident Evil 3. I know a lot of people think it's quite short, but do you know what? No matter the size of the game, I still think it's fantastic. Nemesis is brilliant. I think Jill's comeback is even better. Uh, yeah, it's not another fantastic little game there. Uh, I, quite, I quite like the even though there's not a lot of good Chris in it. Um, next up we're going to shove RE1 straight up to the top because you know you don't get better than the original really do you? Absolute fantastic game. Started off the series, what, what else can you say really? Uh, right so uh, some of these I've not played so we'll put, anyway I've not played them shove in D so I've not done Survivor, I've not done this. Um, what else have we got done here? Let's have a look. Um, I had a little go of it years ago, but I was just really not fun, so never thought about revisiting it. Same with this. Umbrella Core, never really fancied that at all. Yeah. Um, right, I've never done Resident Evil Gaiden either. So if that was a Game Boy, I didn't I never really like a Game Boy, never been a Game Boy sort of guy. Um, right, Resident Evil 5, loads of people hate it, I think it's really decent. I think it's great. I love Shadow, I love Chris as well. Chris's first uh, comeback is how he wants it's great. Uh, I quite like a bit of six. I like Leon's story, Chris's story, but I'm not a fan of Sherry's story really. Um, so we'll shove that in C. Uh, I reverse, I'm going to put in there because I've only played the demo of it a lot of times, so I have really. Um, so we'll shove that in there. I did, I did quite like the Umbrella Chronicle bit, so I'll show that. Uh, no, it can, that can stay in C as well, I think. Yeah. Um, right, next up, what have we got? What have we got? Um, right, so yeah, A. I, a lot of people hated RE3. I loved it. Uh, right, Zero can go in C, because I just find it quite annoying. Resistance, really decent for an online game, I think. Um, so that can definitely go in B. Um, yeah, right, so we should have Co Veronica is an absolutely fantastic game. I think it's really uh, underrated, to be honest. Love it. Love both parts of the game. Absolutely amazing. Definitely an S. Revelations, I thought it a uh, bit of a comeback for survival horror in the franchise, so that can go in A, along with free remake. Uh, four, top tier, love it. A lot of people hate it. I think it's fantastic. Um, a couple of these I haven't played, so we'll be sure. Right, we'll do remake one, top tier. I think it's uh, the ultimate survival horror game, in my opinion. Right, now we'll shove that into A. You can't beat a bit of outbreak, file one and two. 
absolutely fantastic. Love the online aspect of it. Um, and finally, we'll do Resident Evil Rooms. I can go and see. So, yeah, that's been my tier list for Resident Evil games. Um, we'll jump into the characters next. Okay, so Resident Evil characters. So we've got our own S tier, top tier, mid tier, low tier, trash, and who cares? So, I think straight away, Leon's gone. Can't not. I don't care who you are. Ada can go. Leon will go. Definitely. So we've got next, we've got the Ashford twins. Uh, Alexia. Thanks, trash. She's really fucking annoying. Not even talk about AI, I just mean general story art trash. Barry can go in League of His Own. Barry Burger, no, Barry's killed. Cool. But we've got Ben Beliche next. Massive name. Uh, low tier here, we've got. Not the other one, I'm saying for the book, but that's the story behind it. But the other actually, we've got Billy Curry. I quite like Billy Curry, he can go in top tier. We've got the big cheese from RE4. Uh, I quite like him. I think he's a good boss fight, and uh, you know all the fight jobs look quite decent. All the little uh, videos in between RE4 and the main look quite cool. So I think he can go. He can go in top. We've got there next to Billy. Chicken shit, Brad Vickers. Even though he did run away, he does a cool comeback in RE3. The original and even better one in RE3 remake. Himself to kill, so we can go in mid. Not quite enough for top tier, in my opinion. Um, who cares about Burger Boy? Next, we've got Chris and Carla and Claire, all mid, all top uh, League of the Room for me. I think they're all fantastic characters. Um, there's not a lot more you can say about these three, they're all absolute genius. I'm not sure who it is. Who is this guy here? I'm gonna put him, who cares, because I'm not really sure. Um, Enrico, who cares? Ethan Winters. Ethan Winters. Right, he can go in top tier. Definitely leave his own. She's a decent character for Ari 7. She can go in and uh, super I thought she's like really good. Right, this next one, I just found it irritating. Can't remember if you've seen Ari 5. Uh, Helena, she's pretty decent. Quite like her. I quite like her story in Ari 6. She can go in low. Punk can go in super. Um, Hunter Flanagan from Low. On Low. She's alright. She's pretty special. But I really like Chief Irons. I think he plays the perfect part for a really good character. He can go top. Okay, so now we've got Jack Baker. He can go mid tier. He's quite terrifying. I mean, first time you play it. Uh, anytime you play it, really. Right, Albert Wesker's son. He can go back to Jack Baker in mid. Uh, she was fucking annoying. You go in, you can't get a break. Jill, no questions asked. League of her own. Definitely. Uh, he was one of my friends as well. Josh, I think he's called him. Didn't really care for him. Um, Kendo, super rare. Uh, no, he can go in top. Yeah, top. Right, Krauser. He was pretty decent. He was going top tier. Uh, Leon Kennedy. No questions asked again. Sit right there next to Jill. Uh, that's the distance baker, so I can't remember his name, but he can go there mid tier. Um, I'm not sure who that one is, but it's special enough to see what he cares about. Um, right, no tier for him. Right, he can go right there with his son. Um, right. Oh, no, I thought that was, no, that was Marvin, isn't it? Marvin. Marvin. Merchant here, so he can go in low. Um, trash. 
Is that a fucking helicopter? That can get done last. I'm doing that one last. <laughs> <coughs> right, so next up, we're gonna do. That was sort of right, three turns out there. It's only a function of talk, which one looks shite. Um, can't remember his name at all. Marry Flea, but I really like him. I can't remember his name for life. He looks quite embarrassing, but I will. Right, oh, interest. Scroll up, so that's not what we need. Right. Um, Rebecca, she can go lead her own. Definitely. Um, Wesker, without a doubt, League of His Own. Best villain in the game, in my opinion. Um, he's just, I can't, I can't stand Steve. Um, Sheva, fantastic character, super S tier for me, personally. Uh, I found her quite annoying as well, I can't remember her name either. Barry's daughter. He's barely in it. Um, right. He's a really good villain in RE3. He was alright in 4, mid tier for him. Okay, yeah, so Evil, Evelyn can go. Maya, Mia, sorry, not Evelyn. Mid tier for me. Um, we'll put Sherry in low, she was okay. Uh, in fact, I'll put her in mid. She was done for mid. RE4, to be honest, he's a bit shit villain to be honest. Didn't really do much. Kyle Victor, he can go in mid. And the Stars Chopper, <laughs> who cares? So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's uh, the Resident Evil um, characters list. Um, I did notice there was quite a few missing. There's a lot. I don't think they updated it for the village. I think this is just up to RE7. So maybe at some point I'll do a tier list of Resident Evil Village uh, characters. Um, but yeah, so this has been quite fun. I've been saying I've been wanting to do um, one of these for a while. Uh, I've just never actually got around to it. To be honest, I've never had a laptop that's been decent enough to do it. But uh, yeah, this has been the Resident Evil tier list. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Uh, like I said, been Resident Evil uh, games tier list, then we've done Resident Evil characters tier list. I'll probably at some point, maybe next week, maybe this week, do a Resident Evil Village characters uh, list, because I didn't realise until I was halfway through it that it's not been updated for Village, that, so we'll definitely be jumping on that, because it's quite, I have a lot of favourite characters in Village, for, for sure. So, uh, yeah, this has been Raccoon, Raccoon City Survivor, uh, and as always, thanks for watching.